Hello guys, uh, in this video today I'm going to explain to you guys on how to design a professional digital product and how to sell it successfully on Etsy. So here we are on Etsy, I'm going to search a keyword right now and I'm going to show you example of what exactly I'm going to teach you today and how you're going to sell it successfully and how the buyers receive also when they want to purchase it and also the price range and the income and how you could maximize and monetize everything successfully i'm going to give you these tips and i'm going to teach you in this video stay tuned and let's get started so right here i'm going to paste a baby shower invitation because that's what i want to make today in this video so it's a digital product right here these are various sellers here to achieve this um okay this actually adds actually so as you can see on this screen these people are actually running hours on their listings so really meaning if you want to get more sales quickly you could also do the same thing by running hands on your heart by running hands on your listing as soon as you list it successfully so let's say i want to preview this product this specific product right here so uh it is listed for one dollar seventy four cent as you can see there is twenty plus in cart already, meaning people are quite interested in this. And this star seller also means something. I'm sorry for checking your listing. Whoever, whoever is owning this, I'm sorry for checking your listing because most people are not comfortable with that. But nevertheless, there's something I want to show you guys here, which is seller, star seller. This star seller, before you could get it, you have to make $300 successfully on Etsy. You have to respond to buyers as soon as you can. And you have to ensure maintain five star reviews as you can see this seller specifically have about two thousand reviews on this listing on this just this listing imagine how much he or she might have made from this so a lot of money so now this is the product right here this is what you're gonna buy if you're a buyer and you're gonna pay after paying you're gonna have access to the digital file then you'll be able to edit based on how the product is you will be able to change the details to your own personal details so now say no more let's go straight to canva before i go straight to canva i want to wish all my freelancers out there happy international freelancers day on fiverr so i wish you all the best keep working hard keep putting more effort and you're going to get there one day to that top creator to that level two to that level one seller you want to be you're going to get there so let's go straight to canva so here we here we are on Canva. I'm actually using the Canva Pro today. If you don't have a Canva Pro, it's not a problem. You just have to learn from this method and the tools you are able to use successfully and the elements you are able to access successfully. You have to use them based on normal Canva account. That's not pro. So let's go right here. I'm going to click on create design. I'm going to use five by four inch, which is already there. I'm going to click new design. So you guys have to wait for it to load. So after it's loading already, the next thing we're gonna do now is to be creative. So the first thing we're gonna type here is we wanna make a um uh, let's say I want to make a okay, boom, I got the idea. So I want to make a baby shower that has safari image that is animals. So So that's it. Safari baby show invitation. So the next thing you're gonna do is to elements, you're gonna search Safari animals. So the animals that you get here, you're going to check them very well. Be sure of the ones you want to use. Actually, I like these ones, and I also like these ones as well because the elephant is there and it's also attractive. So before we go there, we're gonna make our background. I'm going to change the color that is actually i want us to use green because we're talking about animals here and uh, we have to make sure it matches as well so i want to use a light green not so big actually and also i want to make the color multiple in which way i'm going to add white on the text the text i'm going to make the text white and also i want to change this image to gradient 
Let's say I'm going to add additional colors as well. Let's say I want to change the second color to be white. If you don't like that, I'm going to use black. So I think the black one is much better and I want it to be at center. And also I could put it at the side as well. But based on what I see, I think it's good to use white. So I'm going to change this second color to white. So it's not in white. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to pick it. Animals we want to use which are the elements. So I'm picking this one actually. So after these animals, then the next thing I want to use is a uh, leaf. Uh, I want this to be part of the background. You know. Okay. It's changed the background totally, okay, which is good. I kind of like this. So I think I'm using this. I'm going to use this, okay, guys. So uh, based on this image, I'm going to use this. So the, the main thing now is to input the text. So we're going to first the right baby show. Baby show. Baby show. So I'm going to change the color to green because that's what I want to use. So I'm going to change the headings as well. The front I'm going to change it to a more attractive one. This is also good. Or if I want to change it as well, I can change it also. So apart from that, there's something I want to take note also in this uh, baby shower right here is uh, the name, the address should be there, time and duration. All of those things should be there. So, so going back here now, I'm going to reduce the size of this design. I'm going to have a section here. Here's the parent name. Let's say we're using Oliver. So Oliver is the baby name. Or you could actually use this section as the parent name as well. So why the next section below is going to be the address due to limit time, limitation of time. I'm going to just make something quickly and I will teach you guys how to complete it. So uh, this section will be to add parent name, parent name. Parent name. So parent name is going to be here. I'm going to pause this video now and I'm going to make it more attractive. Then I will play it again. Then I want you guys to see my work. This video might actually be more than 10 minutes because I want you guys to see my work and I want you guys to learn from it as well. Thank you. So guys, as you can see, this is the design I eventually brought out from what I showed you guys earlier. So what I did is I had a section of tiny toes on the way, baby shower. You are invited to a baby shower in honor of, I just write a random name there with a date. And the year we are, the time, and also the address. Then the design, as you can see, it's a safari baby show invitation. And I am very happy you guys are able to see what I've done so far. Oh, I'm still trying to make sure you guys see me very well. But I'm still trying to reset that. But in the meantime, I want to ensure you guys are able to understand what I'm explaining to you. So, okay, so this is the product right here. I'm going to download it. As long as you can hear my voice, that's the most important thing. So I'm going to put on JPG, I'm going to download. So after you download this file, I'm going to hold on for a while for it to load. Then as you can see, this is our digital product right here. So the next thing I'm going to do is you're going to create another page. This another page is also going to have similar thing. But we're going to use just the green background and also we're going to add text. Also, we're going to add congratulations. Uh, for example, I want to make it easier, so I'm going to type thank you right here. So, I'm going to pick any time, any element I'm able to find here to be able to fast track it. So, I'm going to click on thank you. But it's good to type actually. The reason why I said that is because uh, you're able to type exactly what you want. So like now, I'm going to type thank you. Thanks for ordering.
kindly reach out to us via the mail below. So in the bracket, I'm going to put your Gmail right there for your customers to message you. So after you're done, I'm going to change this image, this whole content. I'm going to reduce it, maximize it, ensure it's it matches with exactly what I want. So I'm going to put this right here. I'm going to change the color as well. I'm going to change the color to white. I'm going to add the back color as uh, I'm going to add the back color as black. I'm going to use an effect and I'm going to use outline. After outline, I'm going to use uh, black as the back as the second color. So I also want you to take note. This are the, this is the front I used for this design. So I have to ensure I use the same front. When I'm making the thank you page, also uh, this element as well, you have to go back, you're going to choose shapes, and also uh, this is actually where you're going to click, where you're going to type download template now. So I'm trying to make the download template now page section, I mean, on the thank you page. So uh, remember, we're still going to use the same, same front, but we're going to type something different as well. Which is download template. Download template now. Also, I'm going to use a uh, black color for this shape in order to ensure this color is very visible. So, as you can see now. It's bold enough. I'm going to ensure its size exactly. Let's just use a download template, okay? Download template with exclamation. It's not a must if you put exclamation there, or I just remove that. So download template, as you can see. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, you can write your Gmail below, and also we're going to add congratulations. Congratulations. So after you find the congratulations, for example, let's just use this. You could make it more attractive as well. I just want to make this just to be able to ensure you see what exactly you need to do. So I'm going to ungroup this now. I'm going to change this. Congratulations template now to another one. I think it's more attractive. I'm going to change this color to a white. So it's going to match with the background as well. So congratulations. So now this is where I want you guys to pay more attention, guys. So the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click on share. There's two options here. There is this option only you can access, you can pick up anyone and you can edit it. If you copy this link. You will give them access to the original design which you designed successfully. This design, you're going to give them access to this design. But you don't want to give them full access to it. So it's better you should go here. Instead of using this, I recommend using click on select see all and click on template link. So once you copy this, create and copy this template link, create template link and copy this template link now. Once you click on copy, you're going to put it in this download template. I'm going to have, I'm going to click on these three dots. I'm going to click on links. I'm going to paste the link. I'm going to click on done. Then the link is attached here. The next thing I'm going to do now is to go to this section. I'm going to click on download. And I recommend using PDF standard in order to ensure the link works for both page. I'm going to click on download now. After it's done downloading, after it's done downloading, as you can see, I want you guys to see the end product of everything. So this is our digital product now. We already made this digital product successfully. As you can see, it looks very attractive. And I thank you so much for stopping by. This is a finance tips I want to share with you guys, which is uh, uh, the things you need to ask uh, ChatGPT.
bonus time. So this part uh, is where I want to show you what I did eventually to the digital product. I uh, edited the other pages and I mix it more attractive as you can see. So uh, thank you. Um, the final page I want to do, I want to show you guys is how to actually generate all these contents more easier using Gemini, ChatGPT, and other AIs out there. As you can see, I use I used to use sticky notes to write down some things, and then I type it to I type it to any AI. As for example, I need you to rewrite this NC Digital Product title and include a ranking keyword with low competition. So there is this is that and here also I need you to get generate this is actually used for generation of description and ensure it shows all the details necessary to edit your product successfully on Canva. As you can see this I use this for a different channel and also I use this also so I use this also to generate keywords, high ranking keyword and hashtags with low competition. So that's all about that's all for today guys thank you so much i really appreciate the time i do uh do wish to see you in the next video and that's it for today yes have a great day